Alfred Hitchcock delivers an introduction that suggests the subject of his film, The Wrong Man, is much stranger than fiction. Manny, played by the brilliant Henry Fonda, is accused of a crime he didn't commit. His accusers suggesting that he has the exact resemblance of the criminal who robbed convenience stores and banks in the area. Manny attempts to prove his own innocence as his family, especially his wife, struggles with the psychological strains that relate to immense turmoil. The Wrong Man is a truly engaging noir thriller, and an underrated entry into Alfred Hitchcock's vast filmography, but it also highlights key flaws in the relations between police authority and citizenship. While Hitchcock may not have intended the film to have a socio-political commentary, The Wrong Man still manages to highlight a significant disparity between a citizen's rights and police incompetence. Very early on in Manny's arrest, he acknowledges that he has little understanding of what is going on. The police officers who take him in prompt him to enter very stores, walk in and to walk back out again to see if the store owners recognise him. The store owners believe they do recognise Manny, but when Manny holds a very close resemblance to the actual criminal, and when memories can become hazy while under distress from, for example, being burgled at gunpoint, this information isn't enough to charge Manny with a crime he didn't commit. Initially recognised at a bank by the clerks, there's only so reliable human memory can become when faced with intense stress. While under police arrest, Manny attempts to clear things up sensibly and rationally. He's worried for the sake of his family and job, but he is also honestly unaware of any crimes committed. Unfortunately, one word against another isn't enough for Manny's innocence to be proven. Manny suggests the reason he was at the bank was that he was seeking a loan, but the police arrogantly shrug off his statements. If you can come up with something else, we'll see what we can do. It's an arrogant disbelief to Manny's statement which doesn't fit their narrative for an easy arrest. These officers are unwilling to hear the truth. Even when Manny empties his pockets before being escorted to a holding cell, taking out loan papers from the bank, evidence enough to suggest that Manny is telling the truth, the law enforcement is not interested at this point. This may be a shocking revelation for many viewers. Law enforcement, the authorities meant to protect and serve the public, delivering justice for the people. This authority is ignoring potential evidence that can prove the innocence of Manny. They aren't meant to do this. It's an injustice. However, the Innocence Project and the Black Lives Matter movement demonstrate that injustice at the hands of the police is more common than many people realise. The Innocence Project, which was founded in 1992, states on the non-profit organisation's website that the Innocence Project's mission is to free the staggering number of innocent people who remain incarcerated and to bring reform to the system responsible for their unjust imprisonment. The organisation intent is to illustrate how many innocent lives are destroyed by being wrongfully arrested and with DNA testing, manages to free those unjustly incarcerated. In modern times, Black Lives Matter and the Innocence Project have demonstrated the injustices experienced by innocent targets of police arrests and brutality. While Manny in The Wrong Man does not suffer from police brutality, the damages are done when he is arrested and removed from his family. Spending time in prison temporarily before his wife pays his bail. The psychological harm is done. His children are aware that their father has suffered, but Manny's wife's mental health takes a psychological nosedive when her sense of trust for her husband disappears and their relationship suffers through turbulence. Even the closure of finding the true criminal, something that in many cases is unlikely, does not offer comfort to Manny's wife. The impact of wrongful incarceration can be psychologically damaging, impacting not just the prisoner, but the prisoner's family which is why it is immensely important to prove a person's innocence. Innocence until proven otherwise. In Manny's experience, it felt like the authorities needed an easy target to take the fall, rather than investigating further. And to see such injustices still play out to this day supports the significance of movements such as the Innocence Project and Black Lives Matter, as they attempt to bring justice to those so 
deserved injustice. When Hitchcock introduces The Wrong Man as a film stranger than fiction, the reality is that wrongful convictions are more common than many would expect. In conclusion, Alfred Hitchcock's The Wrong Man is a fascinating noir drama that serves as an early illustration on the flawed relationship between police authority and citizenship rights, which has become such a highly discussed topic to this day. The Wrong Man is a very relevant film for the present day when exploring the sensitive subject of wrongful convictions and injustice suffered at the hands of police officers. Whether it's police brutality, the ignorance of officers, or serving years on a sentence that was wrongly convicted, many people still suffer from these examples of injustice every day. Thank you.